This is my camp spot here. <laughs> Not the best one in the boundary waters, but a fireplace <laughs> that hasn't been used for many years, it looks like. So I have to clean that out. That has on my to do list. And I feel comfortable enough with these trees here that they are alive enough and during this gust I'm not going to have any fall on me which is something you do have to worry about in the boundary waters when it gets more than 20 mile per hour winds as you can see why everything's in by little tiny roots everywhere so you have to pay attention for widow makers uh, like this one over here would be one right now we are Right, we're at the beginning of this lake right here, okay? And then, uh, because the cedar trees are up above. I'm gonna make my way down. This is the best fishing spot out of everything, and there should be an island out here as well. Uh, I haven't seen the mountains yet and everything else. I've seen the turkey, the bad people. Definitely, I've seen some bad people. So, uh, yeah, eventually I'm gonna make my way back to my car. But if you want more of a regular map, I guess, uh, Ah, there we go, Delta Lake. I'm gonna make my way. Okay, so I'm headed off to the primitive area uh, where I have a permit. My bug spray I'm only bringing in because it has my duct tape on it. If I get a hole in this canoe, that's how I'm gonna repair it. Water filter in my map. And no need to worry because I got Roman made this map for me so I know exactly where to go. No getting lost in here. All right, here we go. Oh, oh man, it's a lot different with no weight in it. Holy wow. Yeah. Okay, so that is a moose trail that goes nowhere. In primitive area, what you want to do to find your way to the next mark that you're going for is to walk one time through with just light low gear and then the second time through or on your way back, that's when you're going to take a different path than the way you took. And so you explore almost all options on both sides of a creek. That's usually what you're doing. It's a creek or something to another lake or on the side of it. And you find the best path, then you take this son of a bitch through it. And because there's a lot of blowdown on both sides, a lot of trees uprooted, uh, so it just blocks the whole way, I think I have to go to the creek. And this is dangerous because if you drop the canoe, it's hitting a lot of sharp rocks, edges, tree branches and all that so I gotta be really careful and take my time so I just smell like pancakes in here.
fuck is going on? Fucking hair. Oh, welcome. That easy. See? Just that easy. Yeah. That's all. I gotta pick which side to go down. Obviously can't go down the middle. But at least there's not. Well, uh, there will be trees on both sides too, I guess. Son of a bitch. Right side looks wider. So I'm gonna take that because less trees I'm sure have fallen down. That'll be my first way at least. This should go into Quartz Lake, I think. Here, let me see. No, another unmanned or unnamed lake and then Quartz Lake. That side has no grass. That would be hell of hard. So I'm gonna try this one on the first way and then the river back. I don't want to go to the river. Den right there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a den for all these horse flies. Come back that way, by the way.
would be the south way. That does not go to Starlight. Starlight should be on this side of this island through about as much bog as what we just did. So, we'll see. Oh my gosh, when I come back here, I'm gonna spend one morning just getting about this spot at four o'clock in the morning, just like hunting, and look over. My gosh, you can see a moose or a bear, tons of stuff. Anyways, that's where I'm coming through. I'm gonna go that way, wrong way, pretty sure. That way is starlight. Okay, so I'm positive by going up there and overlooking everything, getting such a good view, that's the mountain. And so I did Yoda while I was up there. Uh, Roman told me to, and he said that there's ghosts up there. <laughs> I didn't see one, so I kind of booked it back down as soon as I got up there. So I'm at the mountain, and uh, the lake should be right around here. These are cedar trees, I think. And uh, yeah, so here we go. So if this is the path to Starlight, I don't think I'll be able to make it. Because I can't walk through that stuff, only, only moose can. They're the only thing that can walk through that. And it's a cliff edge, so it goes straight into that stuff. There's nothing even, I can't scale that. And hold. the only thing I could think of is like to tie a rope on, scale that and pull it, but then go around each tree it is not feasible. Walking this, would be up, I probably pass my head at some points. So I'm gonna look around a little bit more. Hope I didn't go this far for nothing. If I have more time, I could go up in the mountains, make a path. Fuck, I might do that. I can think of is to try to clear a trail from this mountain peak. Find some good access to get off there, clear the trail as far as I can. I think it's about a quarter of a mile, maybe a little bit more to the lake. So if I don't finish it now, it will be on my future uh, to-do list. All right next to all this stuff I gotta do for Sydney. So in the boundary waters, when you're on the go and you don't want to take time to filter the water, all you do is just go out in the middle of the lake, make sure that that day the lake isn't looking oddly thick with algae or whatnot, as long as it's clear like what this is.
It looks like it's probably going to start storming. But let me show you around camp. Before they get here, I suppose. 